Have you ever found yourself standing in a wine store confused on what to purchase because some bottles have a traditional cork closure and others have a screw cap closure? A screw cap closure seems like it would make opening a bottle of wine easier and more convenient. No need for a corkscrew when you can just untwist a cap, right? Yet aren't screw caps reserved for cheap wine like Boone's Farms and the like? More and more these days, consumers can find wine bottles with screw caps on the shelves at their local wine shop. So what is behind the sudden emergence of the screw cap? Are winemakers simply producing cheaper wine? Traditionally, wine bottles have been sealed with a cork which comes from a cork tree. The cork tree grows in climates of Portugal, South Africa, Spain, and southern France where nutrients in the soil and the weather conditions enable this tree to flourish. Today, a majority of wine corks found on the market originate from Portuguese cork tree farms. The cork tree, which is self-sustaining and completely renewable, has served as a viable resource in the wine industry for many, many years. However, within the past 20 years, the process of making corks has been updated and new problems are beginning to impact the usage of cork as a wine closure. Today, a cork is made from cork tree bark. The bark from the tree is harvested at the tree farm and then shipped to a factory to be processed, sterilized, and manufactured. Cork bark contains a compound called chlorophenol, which is absorbed by the tree's roots. This compound comes from wood preservatives and pesticides and is used to protect the tree. During the sterilization process, the bark is cleaned with a bleach or peroxide-based substance. When the cork is sterilized, the chlorophenol compound binds with natural airborne fungi and creates TCA, which is a chemical. When the cork is exposed to wine during the bottling process, the cork can cause the wine to taint, causing a sour taste and brackish color. This is a result of the TCA mixing with the wine. This means that the wine has been spoiled. TCA is present in all cork, however, depending on the chemistry and microbiology present in the winemaking process, TCA will or will not have an adverse effect on the wine. Traditionally, cork taint, or in some cases dried out cork, has only affected wine that has been aging for many years. Due to the current usage of pesticides to protect the cork tree, the prevalence of tainted wine is being found in aged wines as well as wines produced to be drank within as little as three years of bottling. Tainted wine is a growing problem within the wine market today. To counteract effects caused by TCA, winemakers have attempted to work with cork manufacturers to produce variations on the traditional full bark cork. One alternative type of cork consists of cork bark that has been shredded and glued together with a natural substance and has two small discs at either end of the cork. Another alternative is a wine cork made completely of shredded cork bark without the addition of the two discs on either end. These two types of corks are a cheaper version of the full bark cork. A third alternative type of cork is made from synthetic materials such as plastic or polyester and then wrapped in wax. The outer layer of wax is added to prevent the wine from mixing with the synthetic material. This form of cork eliminates the risk of TCA contamination, however, it begins to emit odors from the plastic after a mere 18 months. Therefore, this type of cork is not ideal for wines meant to mature in the bottle. Usually, wines which use this type of synthetic closure are made to be consumed within 3-6 to six months of bottling. Another type of closure which differs from the cork alternatives is the screw cap. The screw cap was conceived in Switzerland during the 1940s in an effort to bypass tainted wine. The modern design of the screw cap was developed in the late 1960s and commercialized in the 70s by a French company. Today, the screw cap is formally referred to as a Stelvin closure and is manufactured in Stamford, Connecticut. This type of closure is the primary type of screw cap utilized by the wine industry today. Screw caps offer a more customizable type of seal for winemakers and are as permeable and breathable as the traditional wine cork. However, there is still debate amongst winemakers about whether the screw cap will enable wine to age and mature as intended when compared to the traditional cork. Nonetheless, research shows that in today's market, screw caps are as friendly as any wine closure when considering how wine ages and oxidizes. Lots of winemakers in New Zealand, Australia, South Africa, America, and Europe have begun to adopt the screw cap. The screw cap system has been widely adopted since the 1970s in New Zealand, however has only made an impact on the American market within the past 5 to 10 years. Consumers in South Africa and Australia have also been extremely supportive when buying wine with screw cap closures. However, European consumers still waver behind. To gain a better perspective on the debate, Jim Winston was interviewed to further understand the benefits of a traditional cork versus screw cap closure and the implication on today's market. Jim is a wine connoisseur with over 12 years of experience in wine tasting, buying, and selling wine. He is local to Norwalk, Connecticut and works at Grapes of Norwalk, a wine distributing company established in 1986.
Well, well certainly over uh, in, in, in my 12 years of doing wine tasting, uh, we've seen an increasing use of screw cap. And I think the consumers are becoming more adjusted. And I think they, they understand that the reason the screw cap is good is because it, it uh, really promotes the idea of bottle integrity. But I think more and more people are becoming adjusted to it. From my perspective, uh, since I have to pre-taste all the wines before we use them in any tasting round, yeah, every now and then I'm going to have to kick a bottle off the flight and replace it because the cork has been tainted. In all my years of tasting, I've never had to replace a cork, a, a bottle that had a screw cap in it. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> so, next time you go to the wine store, what will you choose? A traditional cork closure or perhaps a convenient Stelvin closure screw cap? <laughs>